okay so let's continue with our aws series and in this video we will look uh, about the difference between aws region aws availability zone and azure location all right so if you open the infrastructure.aws website it will automatically route to here so in the aws are the main concept is of region right so if you click on the regions so there are so many types overview region local zone so if you click on the region and availability zone so aws so amazon web services has set up a lot of region across the world so in maybe in the north america some some in the south america some in the europe right so in the london in the ireland so let's go to the asia asia pacific so if you click on the asia pacific so our india is in the asia pacific so in india currently we have two regions one is in mumbai which launched in 2016 and one is in hyderabad which launched in 2022 so hyderabad is the like the recent one so we have only two regions uh, in the uh, in india so one is mumbai one is like uh, uh, in hyderabad so what is basically aws region so whenever like you are going to run any application which is region specific right as an example if you want to spin ec2 instance right so you have to spin ec2 instance on some server right and that server could be anywhere so let's suppose you want to spin the ec2 instance in the asia pacific so so in the asia specific and in the only in the india so you look okay we have two region one is mumbai and one is like uh, hyderabad and you want a uh, in mumbai so mumbai is a region right so what is aws region region is a geographical area so it is a geographical area where aws is a cluster of data center example mumbai region right so so this is a like uh, aws region now what about the availability zones right so availability zones is a physical separate location within a region so you can consider region is a like a whole area so as an example whole mumbai is a region right but where actually the server is there right because in the whole mumbai the server is not there right where actually the data center where we have the like big big big, big servers are placed so at that particular location those are called the availability zones so as an example if you look at this diagram so this blue dotted line shows the region so this is let's put this is the whole mumbai this is the mumbai diagram let's put this is the whole mumbai so the mumbai region is ap south one and within the ap south one so within the mumbai where aw has set up so like in the mumbai there are so many places right maybe in navi mumbai bandra so many places so exactly at what places at what location aw has set up their data center right and data center means where they have so many big big servers a big room right so generally we like almost for all the regions there are uh, on an average there are three availability zones availability zones means similarly a physical geographical location where aw has set up is data center so in the mumbai there are three so if you click here and you could see availability zones are three so we, in the mumbai we have three availability zones so mumbai is a region a region means so where these three availability zone exist so that is a region otherwise there is nothing related to any uh, like anything related to the region so region is just a, like uh, an area so which holds different different data center and all different data centers uh called as an availability zone so region is a geographical area where aws is a cluster of data center so one one uh, data center second or third so three now availability zone a availability zone is also a, again a physical location within a region so it's a physical location within a region maybe it's in navi mumbai maybe it's in bandra or maybe it's in south mumbai or anywhere right each availability zone has its own data center so this this zone has its own data center this zone has its own data center this zone has its own data center maybe it has one data center maybe it has two data center maybe it has three data center right so where like whenever you spin any services now actually it 
it will go in mumbai but within the mumbai where it will go it will go in the particular like availability zone and within the availability zone it will go to the particular data center right and like they are and they are close enough to each other for a low latency communication so these data center it doesn't mean like let's suppose uh, aw has set up it's like a server in uh, like mumbai region and they have three availability zones it's not the thing like all the three availability zones will they are going to set up in the bandra no because if like all the three availability zones they are going to set up in the bandra and uh, if there are like light issues in the bandra or something like tsunami is coming into the bandra then all the three availability zones will stop working right so these three availability zones should be a little bit far from each other but within the mumbai only right so that's why it is mentioned they are close enough to each other for the low latency communication but far enough to reduce the risk of single event affecting multiple ag so let's suppose if you are going to let's suppose if aws build all the three availability zones very close and if within a area some tsunami is going to become then all the three data center is going to be wiped out right it means the whole mumbai region is lost so that's why they should maintain like a good distance but not as much as far so that the like uh, the latency will be increased so they make sure it should be the low latency uh, low latency means like the communication should be faster and there should be far enough so that if there is a problem at one area it should not impact the data center of the another area right now come to the edge location now if you if you click if you go here you could see in in the india we have only two regions one is mumbai and one is in mumbai also three availability zone hyderabad also has three availability zone but all over the india we don't have anything right nothing in delhi nothing is like uh, a bangalore nothing is in kolkata nothing not, nothing is there but as an example so let's suppose you you build your website right so when you are going to build your website so it ask okay where you want to create your website in which region so you said i want to create my website in the mumbai region or maybe in the hyderabad region so you selected the mumbai region uh, from the aws console and then you you created your website and and maybe in, in the mumbai region itself and uh, like because of the disaster recovery or uh, make sure it, it is more available so you deploy in multiple availability zones so south 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 ap south asia pacific south one a one b one c right but let's suppose if if you went to if you are in the delhi right or maybe in the kolkata and you try to access your website so every time from delhi to kolkata your data is going to be transferred or maybe let's suppose you are in the bangalore so every time from the mumbai to the bangalore your data is going to be transferred right so the response so website will be slow because it the data has to be traveled from mumbai to the bangalore right so how the aws has solved this problem that is the edge location so these are the similar data center which you are not able to see here these are the data center right so these these are this like like uh uh, only data center location in the various cities across the world so if within the india as well it, it has at multiple location like maybe in delhi pune mumbai kolkata at so many places right so these are the si similar data center location in various cities across the world separate from the main aws region availability zone so these are the separate like these data center and these data center are, are totally different the they are primarily used to cache the data closer to the end user so as an example so let's suppose this is bangalore and you this this is bangalore you created your website in mumbai region and within the mumbai uh, in any of the availability zone it, it come now you are in the bangalore and you try to access your website so every time it has to it has to like the data has to travel from mumbai to bangalore but now in the bangalore we have the edge location edge location means like we have some physical data center there as well all right so what it will happen the data whatever the data you are going to access the data is going to be cached here 
so the next time when you are going to access it will it will not going uh, go back uh, to the like uh, mumbai region to access the data you will get the response directly from your local data center that is the your edge location so basically it is going to cache the data so the primary used to cache the data closer to the end user this is a, that is the content delivery network content means website content is going to be delivered right so content delivery network and that is called the amazon cloud front so amazon cloud front is one of the service we are going to cover but the main advantage is this only so as an example let's suppose if we don't have the edge location let's suppose uh, if you just look at this example let's suppose we will not going to build the data center in like uh, in the india then what will happen so you are in the bangalore and you want to access a website that is hosted in the mumbai region the data has to be travel from mumbai to bangalore every time you request something which can be slow now with the edge location so now you set up the edge location across the uh, india now imagine there is a edge location in bangalore when you request the same website the data might be cached in the bang bangalore edge location so it does not have to travel all the way from mumbai this makes the website load faster for you so edge location all about improving the speed and reliability of the content delivery network all right so okay now if you scroll down and so if you click on the so this is the edge location and if you find india you could see so many edge location one is in bangalore all right so one is in chennai one is in kolkata one is in new delhi one is in pune so there are so many edge location so if you click on it and if i click on the asia pacific and africa asia pacific so you could see if within india itself there are so many edge location if i click on the list view so edge network so you could see one is in ahmedabad one is in bala so there are so many edge location within the india itself so these are the edge location like this. so one is in delhi right one is in hyderabad one is in kolkata so there are so many edge location okay so that's it uh, that is the end of the video like we should like we generally uh, read about the region and the availability zone but like sometimes we don't read about the edge location so edge location is also the, also the important concept so we should know at least in the layman term why because if you just look at this diagram one second if you go to the region and aws so if you just look at this diagram asia pacific asia pacific you could see only two things right now the question should come into your mind if i am in delhi and if if my website in mumbai every time the website is to be travel which is very slow so definitely aws has think about this problem right so the solution is edge location so they have set up the different data center across the world as well right and they call it as a these these are not the main data center these are just to store the the main main uh, data is going to be stored into the mumbai only the cache is going to be stored at the various locations right so and that that is called the edge location so that's it that's the end of the video and uh, thank you